Hello everyone. This activity is comparing 2960 and 3560. In this activity, you will use various commands to examine three different switching topologies and compare the similarities and differences between the 2960 and 3560 switches. You will also compare the routing table of a 1941 router with a 3560 switch. Part 1. Compare Layer 2 and Layer 3 switches. Examine the physical aspects of D1 and ASW1. Both the switch has 26 physical interfaces in total. There are 24 fast Ethernet and 2 gigabit Ethernet interfaces. The fast Ethernet interfaces support speeds of 10 to 100 megabit per second and the gigabit Ethernet interfaces support speeds of up to 1000 megabit per second. The two switches are not modular in design. The interface of a 3560 switch can be configured as a layer 3 interface by entering the no switch port command in interface configuration mode. This allows technicians to assign an IP address and subnet mask to the interface the same way it is configured on a router's interface. A layer 2 switch makes forwarding decisions based on layer 2 MAC addresses. Interfaces on layer 3 switches can be configured with IP addresses. The switches can also be configured with routing protocols just like a router. A switch's physical interface is used to physically connect end devices to the network. A switched virtual interface SVI or VLAN is used to configure the switch with an IP address so that it can be managed remotely. The 2960 operates at layer 2 only, and the 3560 operates on layers 2 and 3. On D1, interface, G0 slash 1N, G0 slash 2 are configured with the no switch port command and show an IP address and mask configured on both gigabit Ethernet interfaces. D1 has IP routing enabled. The show IP root command works on D1 because it functions on layers 2 and 3, which allows it to function as a layer 2 switch but at the same time, allows it to root packets and make forwarding decisions based on layer 3 information IP addresses that conventional switches cannot. Part 2. Compare a layer 3 switch and a router. Layer 3 switches, such as the 3560, can be configured to forward layer 3 packets. Entering the IP routing command in global configuration mode allows layer 3 switches to be configured with routing protocols, thereby possessing some of the same capabilities as a router. Although similar in some forms, switches are different than in many other aspects.
The similarity between D1 and R1 is that they both have a console port and both 2 gigabit Ethernet interfaces. The difference is that R1 is modular and can add various interfaces while D1 has only fixed interfaces. R1 has serial and asynchronous interfaces while D1 only has Ethernet interfaces. In addition, D1 can only use copper cables while R1 can use various connection types. R1 and D1 have the same IP addresses configured on them but on different interfaces. In order for the switch port to be assigned an IP address technicians will have to issue the no switch port command. So for sure, the no switch port command allows D1 to configure an IP address on one of its physical interfaces. The codes are the same except the router has an L code for local. This is a link that it is configured on the physical interface of R1, while the switch does not have it. Both devices display the same networks in their routing tables. They both have EIGRP configured and both are learning networks from one another. A router or a layer 3 switch is used to provide communication between networks. A layer 3 switch can route between networks as long as it is configured with an IP address and has IP routing enabled. It must also be enabled if you plan to run routing protocols such as EIGRP on the switch.
Don't forget the no switch port command must be enabled on the interface in order to assign an IP address and subnet mask on the switch's physical interface. That's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.